everyone. I wanted to come and share with you another pregnancy update. So I'm 10 weeks pregnant today, so I figured I'd go ahead and go over the past two weeks of what I've been going through and how I've been feeling with you guys. So let me open up my planner to where I've been keeping notes. So today my weight is 140.8 and my pre-pregnancy weight was 140, so I'm pretty much the same weight. In week 8, I was feeling very exhausted all the time, like from the moment I woke up to the moment I went to bed, I was tired, constantly tired. Uh, my lower back was also very sore, especially while I was sleeping, so I've had to have a pillow kind of supporting either between my knees when I'm laying on my side or when I'm laying on my back, kind of like behind my back to have me a little slanted so my lower back wouldn't hurt so much. Um, for some weird reason that week I was really craving junk food too. It was kind of d different because the week before that I wasn't craving any junk food. I was also feeling pretty heavy in my abdomen when I was laying flat on my back even though I know um, my uterus and the baby is not that big in there yet but it's I can feel the weight difference when I lay flat on my back. It's definitely different and I even feel it when I'm on my side as well. Um, I was feeling moody last week for sure. Not last week, I'm sorry, on week 8. Definitely. I was also feeling occasional dizziness and pretty consistent but mild nausea all day long from pretty much morning to night. So I would get up and walk about and I'd be able to do a couple of things here and there, maybe for 30 minutes at the most before I started really feeling um, like some nausea and dizziness and then I'd go lay back down because I'd be so tired plus not feeling well. So. The, the nausea kind of subsided a bit while I would lay down. So now during week 9, last week, for the beginning of the week I was still feeling very exhausted. From the moment I woke up to the mo moment I went to bed I was exhausted all day long. So like I said, I would be able to do things for 30 minutes to an hour and then feel so tired that I had to go lay down in the room. So I really spent most of the days laying in the bed doing things and if I was able to do any homeschool with the kids I would have to do it in my bed they would be in the room with me and I would be there relaxing while I would read to them or watch them do their worksheets or whatever I also continued to feel some dizziness on and off last week but last that was more towards the beginning of the week I was also feeling some food repulsions more like I would feel hungry and then as I was eating I would start to feel grossed out by what I was eating and not really want it but I'd still be hungry so I would eat anyways so but I would start feeling that like oh I don't really want this anymore um again with the same nausea throughout the day I would still feel that slight morning sickness I haven't had to vomit or anything like that um I've never had that extreme morning sickness with any of my pregnancies. This time is actually the first time I'm noticing any kind of morning sickness, even very slight. But it's not so bad, it's just a constant, uh, minimal, like, nauseous feeling, but all day, so it's really a pain in the butt. Um... That all was more towards the beginning of the week and then towards, I think, Wednesday or Thursday. My husband brought me some insures um, and that has actually really helped, especially with the, the dizziness, which I would notice would come on like real quick after I immediately started feeling hungry. It would hit like, once I felt hungry, I immediately felt dizzy. Normally when I'm not pregnant, if I feel hungry and I ignore it and I don't eat for a while, eventually I'll start to feel a little dizzy and a little headache. But being pregnant, that dizziness and that headache like comes like immediate as soon as I'm hungry. Like that's how I know I'm hungry basically. I'm eating 
you know, more often throughout the day. But the Ensure has really helped to um, get me some vitamins and some nutrients in my body quickly and subside that dizziness or at least um, minimize it so I'm not feeling it so often throughout the day. So the Ensure has actually been helping. Uh, I probably drink two a day, three at the most, and that's if late night I'm really hungry and I'm feeling like knots in my stomach or dizziness or headache, then I'll drink one a little while before bed and I'll feel a little better and then I'll be able to sleep okay. And I'm still feeling a little bit of nausea at the end of last week, mainly when we're driving. Not like quick drives like 10 minutes, but we had to go drive to pick up our oldest son from his mom's house. Last week they were off of homeschool for a week vacation, so he was a couple hours away visiting her. And my son was a couple, uh, like 30 minutes away visiting his dad for the week. So we had to drive up like an hour one way to go pick him up, to meet her, to pick him up uh, yesterday. And I would start to feel a little nauseous, um, queasy feeling in my stomach. That's how I would describe the nausea, kind of like a queasy feeling. Not really like I'm oh, like really going to actually throw up, but you feel that kind of like nasty feeling in your stomach and throat, like just throw up already and get it over with. <laughs> But um, that's pretty much how I've been feeling the past two weeks. So now I'm in week 10. Um, as I said, my weight is still in 140. Two weeks ago, my weight did go up to 142.4. But I don't, know, I don't really remember if that was a, a morning weigh-in or if that was like an end of the night weigh-in. I always try to weigh myself first thing in the morning after I use the bathroom. Uh, and before I get dressed, I'll just have on my night gown and that'll give me the truest weight and I try to keep that consistent. Also um, I've been feeling less exhausted the past two or three days of the ninth week um, and even today it's already I don't even know what time it is but it's it's um I think it's like 1 30 right now and I haven't had to lay down to rest. I haven't had to take a short nap to rest yet today and I've been up pretty much since 7 30. So that's that's really a long time for me to to have energy and I've actually done some homeschooling with the boys today. My husband just did an experiment, experiment with the older boys today that I was helping out with for a few minutes and I still feel okay. So the um I think the the tiredness is starting to go away a little bit. I think um, we'll see how it goes this week. So let me go ahead and stand up to show you guys my belly. Like I'm still the same weight so there's probably no difference. Okay so I'm wearing my jeans are tight on my belly and that's it. There's like a little baby bump but I had a little bit of extra there before I got pregnant anyway so Here's what I look like, front and back. So I haven't had my first appointment yet with the uh, gynecologist, the OBGYN. That first appointment actually is this Thursday. So you'll be hearing about that in my next update for you guys. And hopefully all goes well. Um, hopefully they'll be doing an ultrasound to see um, that everything is going okay, and I will get a professional um, due date confirmed by the doctor. Um, based on my own calculations, I am 10 weeks today, but as I said, no doctor visit yet for that to be confirmed through ultrasound, so um, we'll see. Maybe I'm earlier or further along than I think, but I mean, this is my fifth this is my fourth baby I've had multiple pregnancies and had some miscarriages so I think by now I should know how to calculate <laughs> an expected due date but I'm not a doctor so I could still be wrong 
that will be in my next update as well as any symptoms I'm feeling, any improvements of those symptoms or worsening of the symptoms and also another belly shot. Let's see if um, my belly gets any bigger in the next week or two depending on whenever I do that next video. I'm trying to keep these videos at least every two weeks. If you guys prefer, comment below. If you prefer them weekly or maybe even monthly to have it less to me, I really don't mind um, doing it either way, weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. So just comment below what your um, preference is if you're even interested in watching these. Hopefully whoever is watching this is interested. And if you're going through a pregnancy right now and we're about the same weeks along, I hope you're feeling well. And if you're having morning sickness, I pray that you get better soon. And you feel better soon, really. It's not really about getting better because you're fine. You're just pregnant. Just hope you feel better soon. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next um, pregnancy update. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye.